This is Data Specialist Sanders of the Ongoing Data Redundancy Project. This project is intended to protect this information from known and unknown threats to other data storage methods. Next on my list is document number 087-3, Exploration 3. D9884 is a 23-year-old female of average build and appearance. Psychological background indicates a history of depression. Subject has a minimal record of using excessive force to data expunged. D9884 is equipped with a 75 watt flood lamp with battery power capable of lasting 24 hours, a handheld camcorder fitted with a transmission stream, and an audio headset for communication with Dr. Redacted at control. D9884 is also equipped with a backpack containing 3.75 liters of water, 15 nutrient bars, and one thermal blanket. D9884 stands on the ground level landing of SCP-87. The flood lamp illuminates only the first nine steps. LED lights placed on the wall during the last exploration are not visible. Please descend the first flight and examine the landing wall. D9884 descends 13 steps and stops at the landing. There is no trace of the LED light at the location. Footage from Exploration 2 indicates it was placed. Yeah, um, it's just a dirty concrete wall. There's nothing on it. No, wait. It's a little bit sticky right here. D9884 indicates the spot on the wall the LED light should have been located. There's a child crying down here. She's she's begging for help and crying. Thank you. Please continue down the steps until you notice anything unusual. D9884 descends. Upon reaching the next landing, audio of the crying child consistent with the prior two explorations is picked up. No LED lights appear to be present on any of the landing walls. D9884 continues with no incident until she reaches the 17th landing. Ew, there's something on the ground here and it smells really bad. It's all sticky and stuck on my shoe. Ugh, it's so gross. Video feed confirms presence of substance occupying a space approximately 50 centimeters in diameter. Can you describe the scent? Um, it kind of smells like old rusty metal and pee. Thank you. Please continue until you notice anything else. D9884 continues to the 51st landing without incident. The 51st landing remains unchanged from the previous expedition, and similar observations are made. D9884 is asked again to descend until anything unusual is noticed. Subject continues her descent until the 89th landing is reached. The video feed jerks and the subject yells. Ah, fuck! There's a hole in the ground and I almost fell in. Video feed confirms the presence of a hole approximately one meter in diameter. The subject shines the flashlight down, revealing only blackness. Approximately four seconds pass, and a light of an indeterminate distance down the hole flicks on for approximately two seconds and then back off. There's a light down there. It's gone now, but it was on for like a second. Did you see it? Yes. Can you estimate the depth of this hole? No way. It's too deep. At least a kilometer, like way more than a kilometer. Thank you. Can you still hear the sounds of the child? Um, she still sounds far away. I don't feel like I'm getting any closer. I. It's like for every step I take, she takes one down. Please continue down until you encounter anything unusual. D9884 continues to descend SCP-87 for approximately an hour, covering an additional 164 flights. She stops to rest on the 253rd landing, consuming one nutrient bar and several gulps of water. D9884 is at an estimated 1.1 kilometers below the initial landing, yet the sound of the child has not changed in volume. After pausing for four minutes, D9884 resumes her descent, making no stops for another 216 flights. 1.5 hours later, D9884 is on the 469th landing and approximate 1.8 kilometers below the ground. I'm not getting anywhere. I think it's time I went back. I mean, going down is one thing, but this is going to be a long time back. You have been provided with food, water, and blankets to last you 24 hours. Please continue down. No, I think I'm going to go back up. D9884 turns toward the previous flight of stairs. <coughs> SCP-87-1, the face, is directly behind D9884, blocking her ascent. The face appears approximately 30 centimeters from the lens of the camera. Its eyes are fixed directly on the lens, this time looking not at the subject, but the person viewing the video feed. The video feed glitches and freezes for four seconds, accompanied by a static-like screeching noise from the audio feed. 
It then cuts to bumpy visuals of D9884 descending the stairs rapidly. It's been following me. The whole time, it's been right behind me. God, it's right behind me. It's been looking right at me. Doctor, please do something. Please help me. Oh my God, no, please get it away. Please, no, please. I knew it was following me. God, please help me. No, please. This continues in a similar fashion until the end. D9884 continues to scream and plead hysterically as she rapidly descends the staircase. The previously heard static-like screeching seems to overlay the audio feed, beneath which can still be heard the original sound of the crying child. Approximately 14 flights down, the video feed swings to show the arrow directly behind D9884. The face is now approximately 20 centimeters from the camera lens. It is not staring at the subject, rather it is fixated on the camera lens, giving the illusion that it is making eye contact with those viewing the footage. It is important to note that since the sighting of SCP-87-1, the sound of the girl crying and pleading has been increasing in volume, indicating D9884 is nearing the source. After an approximate 150 panicked flights of descent with three visual confirmations of SCP-87-1 still in pursuit, D9884 trips and appears to fall unconscious. Audio feed indicates strong proximity to the source of the crying. The static and screeching noise continue. Video feed shows yet another descending flight of stairs, indicating D9884 still has not reached the base of the stairwell. Twelve seconds of motionlessness pass before the face comes in full view of the camera, eye contact being made directly with the viewer. Audio and video feeds cut out, and no connection is re-established.